My guest today is Roy Conley, the producer of Disney animation feature film Strange World. Um, can you tell me, what was the inspiration behind the story of the film? The inspiration was really coming from Don Hall, the director. Uh, when he, he, he had done some work with uh, Moana, and when he came off Moana, he started thinking about what is the next story I want to tell. And he was inspired, as he has two wonderful young children who are now older, <laughs> uh, he was inspired by the concept of what kind of world are we leaving to our children, to the next generation. And so he just started pulling together ideas. And one of the things that he came up with was stories that we love as kids, which are about explorers. And so he started putting together the idea of what happens if we tell a story kind of like the Jules Verne or the H.G. Wells or the, you know, the, that wonderful old style of s explorers discovering a lost world, what would that mean? And that's, that's where the, the idea came from. You've been with Disney since 1993, if I'm right. Yeah, exactly. Um, what has changed o over this course of time and what has stayed the same? Uh, I think what has stayed the same is the spirit of the type of storytelling that we, we want. Uh, the way we tell the stories has changed, I think. Um, you know, I, I came in and we were hand a hand-drawn studio and through the 90s into the turn of the tw 21st century, we became a digital studio and started doing CG. Every film that I've done, technology has changed how we approach it. And I think it's why I love animation so much because our stories evolve with the technology and we're always looking for new ways of telling a story, but always with the heart and always with the humor that we've told stories in the past. And if you compare a hand-drawn film to a digital film, does it go faster or do you just have more time for, for other things? No, you know, it's funny because many people think that if you do a computer-generated animation, it's faster. That's not true at all. Uh, it's still an iterative art. We, you know, we continually are exploring different approaches we make sure as we, you know, it, it's funny, uh, I think hand-drawn animation, a fast animator could draw five feet of animation uh, a, a week, which is roughly two seconds of animation. So, and, and it's about the same in uh, uh, digital. But I think for me, I'm, I'm kind of in love with CG animation because I think you can tell stories uh, with peril a lot better. Uh, I think there's something about the digital format that makes peril much more interesting and I think with with this kind of film uh, it's perfect for CG. It is known that Disney Animation always has a research team before you start a film. Yeah. But where do you go for reach research if it's a made-up world? You basically look to scientists and farmers and we we took this world and decided we need to find experts in exploration, in biology, in cartography, you know, and we took a trip to Washington, D.C., to the headquarters of National Geographic. We brought in farmers to talk about, you know, how, you know, how do you, how do you farm now, you know. Uh, we brought in uh, amazing, a, a great cartographer who basically taught us how to make maps. So uh, we started with that. And you always start with the world. You go to the characters and then you tell your story. Um, you always have a lovely sidekick in the film, which I think this time it's it's called Splat. Splat. And it also has a wonderful German name, as you just... Platch. Uh, I love that name, frankly. I think it's a great name. It's good. Tell me about it. What, what kind of character is he? Well, it's interesting because I would say, I don't think of uh, Platch as a sidekick. Uh, I think he's actually a w wonderful character that it, through the film is very influential. And I think people are going to be amazed because when you have a character that doesn't speak, it's 
animation gold. Of all the films that I've done, it's always the characters who don't speak that I love. So, you know, in Rapunzel, I love Maximus and I love Pascal. Uh, and in this, it's, uh, you know, Platch and the Legend. Yeah, Legend is a three-legged dog. Three-legged dog, yeah. yeah that's lovely. Um, you just, you've just shown us uh, some footage just an hour ago and it's already two more months to go before the film comes out. At what stage is the film right now? I would say we're probably, uh, well, we're 100% done in animation. Uh, we're probably 90% done in effects and we're probably about 80% done in lighting at this point. We've got an, another two weeks before we'll actually complete uh, the process. Then we go into the sound mix stage. Uh, we've recorded music for it. Amazing score by Henry Jackman, who um, I've worked with twice now and I love. Uh, so we're, we're at that point where in two weeks we'll start doing uh, the sound mix for the film. You just said something about Transportosaurus, which was, as you said, came out of a sausage. Out of a sausage. What's yeah. the story about that? Everybody, you know, we have a wonderful visual development team at Disney. And everybody was asked to bring in ideas for characters, for creatures, right? Because we wanted to create a world with creatures no one has ever seen before. So people came in with, you know, uh, things from the sea and things from microbiology. And one guy came in with a sausage and said, I think we should create a sausage character. And that's how the Transportosaurus became the Transportosaurus. And another thing that Disney Animation is famous for, you always have Easter eggs. Can we go Easter egg hunting again? Oh, yes. You'll, there's lots of Easter eggs that you'll be able to go through on this one. It'll be fun. Oh, I'm really looking forward to the whole film and thank you very much for your time and no. good luck with the film. Thank you so much. I'm very excited about showing it to the world.